We're back with the dancing bear. And I want you to know this dog's default after it runs in the bushes and poops is to run to me. And if you said, when did you create that? Right when I first met it. That's what you need to understand. These things are being, so if you're just first meeting the dog and you're not doing that, I'm not gonna have a default. I'm gonna have a dog that I'm gonna have to go nag to come to me. It's not gonna do it. It's gonna be getting all these corrections. Anyway, I want you to do that too, Mike. I want you to write, get a book. Everybody's like, you get a book, lady. It does help. I've had books in the past. And just write, this is my school of thought in any time that you think. You know, and if you said, what's that going to help? It's going to help you convey that message to people later on. So that you're not there with kooky hand movements. Trying, you know, it's, it's a, you know, if you said you have a very, very solidified school of thought. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. So anyway, and I'm doing this as tips for Nate. Nate's like, oh, God, no. Uh, oh, and Mark. Oh, you can't even believe what's going on with him. Uh, I'm going to have to probably, in between every video, uh, be texting him. He, I can't even believe him. I'm just, oh, just going to drive to where he's at and just smack him. Um, but this, if you've got a dog, this is what, this is what you guys, this is, this, this will be the title. I, I know I say I'm going to change it, but I'm not. You know, if you've got a dog that's spitting out the dumbbell, what you want to understand is it's trying to end the sequence. Okay, so it's trying to end the sequence by spitting it out. It understands on some level that's the end. How could it not? But it's trying to end it before you. Hence, that's telling you you're not making the ending clear enough. So my answer to that, instead of making the ending longer, make the ending shorter. Shorten up, shorten that part of the sequence so that that part is shorter and then you're getting your hold by virtue of just travel. I understand that it is kind of lingo-ish, but that's just the nature of things. If people don't understand what that means, not you, Mike, not you, Lucy, but, you know, that's what I'm thinking of. If the dog spits it out, I'm not going to say, uh, at, that's the point, I'll make it, hold it. I'll say to myself, I'll make it, the se I'll end the sequence quicker than it spits it out, or I'll make sure that that's what happens instead of making it hold at that point in the sequence. So I, I can do it with, oh, they've gotten the wrap wrap and torn it all up. So I'm saying to myself, as quick as possible, and I do think that's where the platform helps, because they understand I'm moving quickly towards the end of the sequence. You know, I can't, I can't get this, I can't pay for this thing fast enough. Yay! 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 Fast cash in, fast cash in. I want you to think of the difference, the difference between the fast cash in and the making them hold it is, yeah, you're going to have to wait in line at that place at which point. That's a turn off for most people, you know what I mean? Oh, we can go here. We're going to have to wait in line, though. Oh, no, let's go to the place we don't have to wait in line. We're hungry. That's what, that's what our, this is our mindset. We're hungry. This is, a, uh, well, we can go here. We can go here. We're going to have to wait in line at this place. Not this place, though. And they both have great food. Oh, let's go to the place we don't have to wait in line. So, but I'm saying, okay, how can I increase my hold? I can just go farther away because the dog knows where the end of the sequence is. Yay. <laughs> oh, I can't pay fast enough. I can't pay. I can't pay fast enough. So I was able to get it to hold. You know, and I don't know whether you should measure your hold in distance or in time. I think distance. I think it's better to measure it in distance. Well, I could get it to hold it from there. You know, I could get it to hold it from there to there. And I'm, done. I'm getting my pirate ship, hopefully. So I know you guys were all like, what's this pirate ship? Oh, Lucy, you'll like it. It's colorful. I got to get something colorful. Um, you know, but that's what I'm saying to myself right now. I've managed, rather than try to get the dog to hold it, I convinced him to do it. He doesn't, he's not saying to himself, 
you know, because they know where the end of the sequence is. You can make it farther, 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 farther. So keep going there. I just can't pay fast enough. So anyway, I know you know what I'm talking about, Mike. Um, but that's what you want to do. That's what you want to do is just do it that way and say to yourself, you know, if you did have an issue with honestly gloss and go, I, just, I you know, I can't stress that enough. If this dog did, what well, you saw what happened when I, uh, you know, when he ran under the bush, remember when he got the keys and stuff and ran under that? I'm not giving him time to do that. He's going on a known trajectory to a known candy store where he can cash in his... I, I do understand, and I, I do think that's part of the collective consciousness with these dogs. They understand this is money. They understand it as the concept of money. It itself has no value, but it can without a doubt be traded in for something that does. I'm yakking it up too. I'm yakking it up. You know, you've got to add, and you've got to do it without being contrived. If they're giving you a sideways look, like I ain't buying your crap, lady, you got to abandon that plan. But you know, I was successfully able to get him to hold it. Maybe not exactly in the context. I mean, it really isn't the context you'd want, but if you said, well, I need it in a different context, you would still start from there. I could probably get him to hold and heal, um, too, with, as a byproduct of this. You know, you could even end up... You could get the dog to travel. I think you could get it to travel from here. And then go back this way. <laughs> Once I'm on the going back trajectory, he totally understands it. Oh, and we pay and pay and pay. Oh, we just can't pay well enough for your little tasks. You know, and, then, and these people say, you know, that's a common thing. Am I wrong, Mike? Oh, the dog just needs a job. Well, the job that you've got is so nonspecific. This is an actual job. It doesn't pay much, but it's still a job. You know, so this dog, it likes doing it. What else would I be doing with the dog? Out here correcting it for being dog aggressive. You notice it's not, you know, it's all about, and I do think the neutering helped, obviously. But it was, you know, definitely at the very least a three-prong approach. Oh, we must do your dancing. Kimberly wants to see about your dance lessons that you signed up for. <laughs> You know, and you're, you're, you've got to express to the dog. My happiness is very behavior specific. I like you. Sort of like Mark's girlfriend. I like you, but only when you do exactly what I say. Yeah, it seems to be working on him. All right, hang on, let me move my camera. Oh, he's going to start twirling on his own. Look at him. You know, and that's what you've got to understand. If the dog doesn't want to do something... Your job is figure out how to make it want to do it. Because if not, it's, if I don't want to do something and they're I'm already thinking of nine ways how to get out of it. And that's how they are. You know. Oh, he's got some fancy footwork. Yes, Kimberly Ann, you need to get the, uh, the people at the shell together. He's going to need costumes and everything. Oh, if there's anyone that can sew him some handmade costumes. <laughs> he wants to he wants to look like a Russian dancing bear. Uh oh. <laughs> and I'm gonna tell you, if I see him dancing when I'm not over there, I'm gonna rush over there. I mean, how cute is he? And that's the default. That's the default. <laughs> And they're gonna be left or right handed. He's my fur child, so he has hands. Oh, hello, Kimberly Ann. Yes, his costly dance lessons are finally paying off. <laughs> Kimberly Ann's like, they are? <laughs> yes! Look at him.
him move. My God, look at him twist and turn. Oh, he's a precious, precious angel. I, I just like the way his, I want you to just watch his tail. Don't look at all of them. Just the way they talk. And I'm going to, I found this video of Luna. I'm going to post. Um, it was like a slow-mo where I was like kind of making a return to heel or something. And just the, the, the tail was the most interesting part of it. <laughs> oh, his tail turns and turns. Am I wrong? Did you see the tail, Kimberly Ann? It was bending, bending, and then it, it's, you know, you can tell a lot by just looking at the tail. All right, come on. She wants to see you go one more time. Oh, look at your little pigtail. Yes, it's, this is as fun as it looks. Kimberly Ann, this is like a real job. <laughs> this is pro bono work, of course. How cute is he? I can get him back on the platform. You notice what's, if you said what's absent in this, really a lot of conversation. It's more. And he's bendy. If you look at him now, Mike, he's got a, he's got a bend in the middle now. And that's what, if you're a serious pro, I mean, you've got to think to yourself, there's got to be a break in the middle of the dog where I can bend it back in my direction or it's it's just not going to do that behavior because because it doesn't have that this is not going to do it all dogs bend but if you haven't said i want you to bend they're not going to bend he's probably going to get back up on that thing look at him did you see him throw his little pocket book i'm just going to look at it and see listen clutzarella so he gets rewarded just for getting up there because that was the initial subtask. And I think as much as possible, you need to say, okay, well now I'm working it on this, but still 25%, maybe 50, maybe 75 in the beginning, I'm still rewarding the subtask. Rather than now making him get up there and spin and spin and spin, I'm still just rewarding the initial subtask. Kimberly Ann's like, what? I mean, I never dreamed he would turn out this good. So, you know, that's everything that he he knows how to do now. So he's got things he can do, you know. And if you said, where would you go from there? You could start getting him to send away. But he's almost got... dog ever and he's got that little delay and if you said where do you go with that you can shorten that sequence up too but you don't want to put anything you don't want to put anything else there other than he's controlling the sequence your job is to make it do it faster anyway he's an absolute superstar he's a superstar let's see if he gets back up there if I just look at it he'll get up there He's a dancing, dancing bear. His tail turns and turns. Oh. <laughs> oh, look at his little chubby bum. He's got little rolls on his little bum. I have to feed him 27 times a day because every time I let him out, the way I get him back in the crate, just as a routine, is to you know act like it's feeding time. So I just have a little teeny bowl that I do all this preparation. Oh, he gets cheese and everything. Oh, cheese and everything. So it seems like, you know, every day is like a... He could probably get all four feet up there. Oh, every day is a 10 course meal. All we need is music. They do actually have something called dog dancing, so... You know, that's what I'm saying. I'm taking this dog out, and I'm just inundating him with what I do want him to do. Is he gonna do things I don't want him to do? Yeah, yeah, and, and you're, you're working towards that, 
again, and if you said, well, what do you mean? I'm, at some point, I'm going to have to put those two big shepherds back in that pen over there, because I don't know if you remember that video, uh, Kimberly. It was called Cujo 2, the remake, double rabies. <laughs> yeah, that's what it was like. He doesn't need words. If I want him to start jumping, I bet he could be a good jumper. I, I, I think he would be. I think he could be. These can usually jump very good. Jumping. <laughs> Cancel the jumping. He's more of a dancer. <laughs> anyway, you guys, I'll be right back. But, you know, I think you can see everything went the way I wanted it to go. I geared him for success. And, I, and, you know, that's your job. Get what you want to happen to happen. And make that dog think it's its idea. He doesn't think this is all my, I'm making him do all these things. He thinks he's making me do things. He thinks if he gets up there... And starts twirling. All dogs twirl. Just not as good as him. Look at him. I see the cutest thing ever. All right, hang on, let me see. He burps. He's a burper and a snorer. I know, if he was a person, he'd be drinking bush beer or something. Yeah, that's him. Watching football, drinking bush beer by the case. I think I am gonna get some little jumps though because I think it would be cool to have a very bouncy, oh here, oh yeah, no here, the bouncing bulldog. What about that, Kimberly Ann? What, is that a title? Okay, here's a survey. Is that a title you'd like to see? The bouncing bulldog. You know, I think if you just added a little jump, but you've gotta look at the tail, I mean, all the time. But if you said he looks like he's being made to stay there, no, he's making him stay anywhere. He likes it, you know, and because he's saying to himself, oh, it seems to like me, it seems to like me more when it, <laughs> it likes me more when I'm over here. That's what he's saying. He's not saying I better obey. He's fun to feed too. His mouth is kind of like a little manatee. All right, you guys, I know you guys have to go to work at your real job, so I will be right back. <laughs>